okay and in, in this lecture we will now discuss a problem on orders so let me take a problem if a is in g and uh, order of a is suppose n and a raised to m is equal to identity then show that n divides m solution so now your a is an element in g and what is the order of a order of a is n correct means what is n n is the smallest positive integer such that a raised to n is equal to how much since it is the order a raised to n must be equal to identity this is statement number one why uh, because it, it is the order of a right and that n is what remember n is the smallest such number so this is the first thing it is also given to us that a raised to m is equal to also identity also given a raised to m is equal to identity right now what can you what can you compare what can you say about n and m what about n and m who is larger in this case clearly n is what n is smallest so i can say that here n must be less than m since n is smallest such okay both of both both the equations if i look from this i can say since n is smallest such an integer clearly what can i say n is smaller than m as soon as n is smaller than m i will divide m by n when i divide m by n what will i get so i will do that division here so divide the n by m so i will get a quotient q and a remainder r by division algorithm I will get there exists a Q and there exists a R which they are integers such that N is equal to M Q plus R. What do you know about R? R is a number which can be zero, but it has to be strictly. Uh, I'm sorry. Did I do to your? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I should have made here. I'm going to divide M by N. Sorry. M I'm going to divide by N because M I'm going to divide here by N. So this will, instead of getting N equal to M Q plus R, I'll get M equal to N Q plus R. Okay. So now this remainder has to be between two numbers. Remainder can be zero, so remainder is greater than or equal to zero. But remainder is always less than the divisor so remainder has to be less than what remainder has to be less than n and now what what can i do is from this i will separate out what is r equal to what is r equal to r is equal to m minus n q correct so when i do r equal to m minus n q what am i going to get i am going to now calculate what is a raised to r what is a raised to r a raised to r is a raised to m minus n q okay which i will write is a how many times i'm going to multiply i'm going to multiply a m minus n q times and then i'll collect the m times a together so i will get a raised to m and then i'm going to collect a raised to minus n q times together which is a raised to minus n q which is equal to what which is equal to a raised to m into a raised to n power minus q and what do we know about a raised to m and a raised to n from equation one and two what we have seen is that a raised to n is also identity 
and a raised to m is also how much a raised to m is also identity so both are identity so here i will get what here i will get identity raised to m and here i will get identity raised to minus q right what is any power of identity identity multiplied by anything how many, whatever number of time is certainly going to give you identity into identity and therefore this will give you what this will give you identity so finally what i have reached is that a raised to r is how much a raised to r is equal to identity correct and what is the relation of r what, what do you know about r you know that r is less than n r is less than n it means r is smaller than n so r is smaller than n and a raised to r is also coming to be identity but this is not possible why is this not possible because we know that n was what n was the smallest person right n was the smallest person for which this type of relation should hold right n is the smallest such number for which a raised to n will come up to be identity so this is not possible so this is wrong this is not possible if this is not possible means our r has only one choice what should r be in that case in that case r must be how much r must be zero because we know that a raised to zero is how much a raised to zero is identity correct so this if r is zero what will equation give me so from equation three i will get that r is zero right so this means zero is equal to m minus n q so this means by equation 3 0 is equal to m minus n q and this means m is equal to n times q and this equivalently means that n divides m so this is what we wanted to prove that our exercise is proved remember what was our exercise order of a is given to be n and a raised to m is given to be identity these two things are given to us and what we have proved is that we have proved that n should divide m okay so this exercise is very important okay now let us prove the converse of the above problem the problem is if a divide if a is in a group g and order of a is equal to n and n divides m then show a raised to m is equal to identity so this is very easy problem so order of a is how much order of a is n this means a raised to n is equal to how much a raised to n is identity i will call this equation one it is also given to us that n divides m if n divides m then by the definition of n divides m i can say that m is equal to n times k for some k and therefore i will now calculate what is a raised to m so a raised to m is equal to a raised to m what is m substitute uh, substitute m so this will means a raised to n k which is nothing but a raised to n raised to k what is a raised to n but but by equation one a raised to n is how much a raised to n is identity so it is identity raised to k and what is identity raised to k identity raised to k is identity so we have proved that a raised to m is equal to identity so in this way this exercise is solved